hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about azure open ai feature and how we can use it with respect to business central so uh, today when i was uh, working on some project uh, i got to know via al home that uh, there is a uh, new feature which is coming up although it, this feature is available uh, since version 22 itself and if we really want to try it out uh, we can always uh, extend it via feature management page but uh, now this uh, this the information about this feature is now coming up at the AL home screen and as you can see here that get started with developing generative AI features for business central okay so it is still uh, I could say that it is still in the development stage only you cannot say that it's now a full uh, fully featured available and you can try out multiple things out of it uh, it's not like that uh, currently uh, even in the BC Tech Days uh, 2023 also they have uh, shown uh, about this feature and how uh, it is currently in the development stage and what benefits it has when it will come up with more power, powerful features uh, by the time next year so let's learn about it uh, quickly about how we can enable it and what are the things which we can still use with it okay so uh, if you see here uh, what microsoft is saying that they have provided an extension source code as well which is available at this repository okay so if you click here it will open the github screen and you can see at this path microsoft bc tech samples azure open ai right so this is a this is a some extra features which microsoft is introducing it's like a sample which you can uh, extend uh, which you can install in your business central sandbox environment or the production environment and start using some nice features which they have added in the business central so for example in this we have a page extension of item card and this is the main code unit as your open ai which is the the actual code uh, actual logic is written okay so if we really want to try it out we can uh, always uh, create a clone of this repository and install it in our business central environment okay we can download it and then uh, then install in our business central environment at like whatever way you want to try it out you can always try it out so let's uh, first of all see the business central and how we can uh, start using this feature okay so the very first thing is that uh, you have to go to the feature management right because currently i'm in the bc22 okay and here uh, if you see you will find out one this feature feature preview create ai powered product descriptions with copilot right so currently as i said that it is not fully readily available to to you but uh, if we see that this feature will be available by the time quarter 4 2023 update 23 so that means the version which will be launched in this october month okay so at that point of time this feature will be available but if you really want to try it out you can always try it out by enabling this for all the users via feature management page okay so as soon as you enable this uh, you will see that uh, when you go to your item card come on open up yes so for example if you open any of the item here any of the existing item or you can create a new item out of it as well no problem in that and once you provide the information like description item category code attributes and everything then 
there is a there is a thing there is a portion in the item card page called marketing text right and it has this button called create with copilot if you click on edit then uh, it will open up this very rich text editor okay which has uh, almost like word features and you can utilize it to write down your own text okay but the thing is if you really want to try it out via this box only you can simply click on this create with copilot button and now it is asking you that you want to enable ai capabilities and so on so yes you agree and then close and now it is generating okay so, so you can see here that the text is generated okay which is the tagline and some text okay so now the thing is if you really want to uh, review it further you can click on it and again it will open this uh, rich text editor where you can read everything about it and if you are okay then you can click on okay otherwise if you really want to change something then you can always do so so for example uh, the thing is how it generates that data and uh, what are the things you have to configure first on your item card before this feature will help you to generate the marketing text so what you can do you can click on more settings and here you can see that what actually it is considering the information it is considering on your existing item card through which it is generating this text so these are like first of all attributes to include so if you click here you can see that it is considering the item attributes and it is making up the information using this item attribute so if you want to add more information uh, then you can add more multiple more attributes of your item here in the item attributes page which this copilot will use to generate more text okay then uh, emphasize a quality like if you really want to emphasize on the quality of the text which gets generated so you can utilize any of these things for example if you if i select the sustainability you you will see that now if I click on create draft again, it the text will get changed. See, the tagline gets changed, the text gets changed. So based on like uh, whatever things you will use, system will uh, generate you know, some more exciting text for you and you can read it out and if in case you find it good enough then you can always save it then the tone of voice like whatever will be you want to write formal uh, text casual text whatever like this okay then the to uh, then the format and length so you can see here that we are getting the fo format in the form of tagline and then the paragraph so this is happening because of this thing now if you really want to go ahead only with the paragraph you can select with the paragraph if you really want to generate tagline only you can always do so so based on whatever things you want to use it will generate the text for you okay if you really want to undo something if you really want to go back to your original thing you can always do so if you really want to clear everything and you want to write something on uh, something off on you you can do so right uh, there also if you you want to write something you can always do so so this is the thing which is uh, now you can easily generate some text based on your current item okay so it's a it's a current feature which is uh, available with this copilot and microsoft have given this name copilot which means that you are the first owner of your business central data you are the pilot right Copilot is like it is an assistance of you which will help you with some basic things at the moment right it's not like chat GPT if you uh, I really want to tell you that please do not miss to this uh, with respect to the chat GPT it's, it's not that uh, it does not provide you that features and uh, second thing is it is currently available only with the English language so it's not like that it, it can generate the data it can generate the text for you in other languages as well maybe in the future it will but not at the moment 
okay so currently by default out of the box you get this feature of marketing text now uh, the code which microsoft is currently giving you which you can install and start using it start extending it is uh, this repository which i have already installed in my business central if i show you uh, let's go to the extension management page and here it is azure open ai sample so i've already installed it but the thing is uh, as soon as you install it you can see that suggest item category uh, this function is available for for me in the item card page why because uh, you can see here in the code they have uh, extended the item card page and they have added this action called suggest item category on the item card and that's why this thing is available for me okay so currently this section button is available on the item card then we have a permission set object then this is the real object called azure open ai code unit which has all the code written and there is one more page called azure open ai setup okay so really if you really want to use this extension okay and or in case you want to write some your own code other than this suggest item category you have to first set up the azure open ai setup page and input the current details like first of all we have to input the endpoint okay so what is this endpoint https they have given this uh, sample url as well which is https resource name dot open ai dot azure dot com open ai deployment name completions and so on so we have to give this uh, endpoint details otherwise uh, this new uh, extension which you have installed will not work so for example i can show you if i click on this button and it is saying me the endpoint has not been set would you like to open the setup page yes so it opens the setup page for me which i have uh, shown you here in the code setup page okay and we have to give these details endpoint and secret and then we have to test it whether the setup is complete or not okay so it will work only when we provide these details so from where we get these details so we will get these details from uh, the azure portal so in the azure portal we have to generate we have to set up this azure open ai first okay uh, the thing is you can search here right now it is available for me but if really you want to set up this azure open ai for the first time you can search here azure open ai okay and this is available you just click on it so it's a cognitive service right and we have to create azure open ai first through which uh, we will be able to generate our endpoint so when you click on the create azure open ai now it is asking me to uh, to go with the subscription first then select the resource group uh, i don't have the resource group at the moment so what i can do i can create new t365 pc open ai okay click on okay now you can see here that in the pricing tier uh, it is uh, not giving me any option no available item and what the what this warning is saying that azure open ai service is currently available to the customers via an application form the selected subscription has not been enabled for use of the service okay and does not have the quota for any pricing tier which means the subscription which i have selected at the moment for because this is a subscription which i have taken for against my account it is this feature is not available for me okay and uh, i have to f go via an application form so where where that ex exactly application form is uh, so if you click on this link it will open that application form for you which we have to fill up and then only the details and this azure open ai feature will be available okay so although i can fill this information uh, for you but the thing is if i try to fill it out then also uh, i will not be able to use it because you can see here that 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 the requirement is i have to use my company email address i have to give my company details 
then only I can be able to uh, use this Azure OpenAI features. It is uh, it is not available with my normal gmail.com, yahoo.com or hotmail.com etc accounts right so i don't have that information at the moment so i cannot fill it out uh, fill it out completely and show you uh, further how to set up this as your open ai feature at the moment okay but uh, if you really want if you really have that information and you really want to try it out then you can simply fill out those information and once you fill it out then uh, you can create this azure open ai feature uh, in the azure portal and after you create this feature uh, it will give you the inform the required information like uh, the complete endpoint and the client secret right so like uh, you will get your resource name and through which you can completely uh, make this url where uh, resource name you can pick it up from the azure portal of azure openai and then the deployment name as well and of course the secret as well so all this information you will get from your azure portal okay when you create this setup create this service and then only you will be able to use it currently i cannot use it because i cannot fill that form via my regular hotmail.com or gmail.com account right so this is a thing but uh, but of course for learning purposes this is a very good sample which microsoft have given and as i'm told telling you microsoft is still investing their time here and it is really a very 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 good feature gonna be uh, in the future as well and start using it okay and i'm again saying it is not similar to chat gpt so do not get mis do not get confused with that part okay so from the business central perspective uh, this azure open ai this business central copilot is coming uh, is available from the vs code perspective as well if you really want to use this copilot feature there is a extension available called github copilot okay uh, your ai pair programmer so it is not although you can install it and start using it but uh, let me tell you one thing it is not a business central copilot uh, uh, ai programmer right where uh, it will give you the correct code for the business central okay it might give you the correct code for the other languages but for the business central for, for the al programming language it is uh, not uh, giving you currently the right results but yes as it is an ai it is still learning so if you can enable it for you uh, it will definitely help you to write down some common code uh, automatically for you okay so these are the ai features which are now uh, being coming up for the for the business central and which we can utilize it in our day to day routine and make some great features for our customers okay so with that note uh, thank you very much i would like to end my video here thank you very much for watching this video and in case you like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much